It's entirely too cold to put tomato plants into my garden right now, either by direct seed or even starter plants. Fortunately, about two weeks ago, we started early indoors all nine varieties of the heirloom tomatoes that I grow here on the farm. Part one of this tomato video series was dedicated to the setting up, planting, and germination of these tomato seeds early enough so that we could get a head start on the season to come. So let's continue that progress and work on the techniques to moving on these young tomato seedlings into larger pots, either for transition into the spring garden or for sale of starter plants. Regardless of the variety, I always move my tomato seedlings into the standard 4-inch nursery pots. These guys fit 18 to a 10 by 20 tray and are the perfect blend of saving on space, yet giving the plants room to grow. They are a bit flimsy, but I managed to get about three seasons out of each pot before I sell them off with that year's starter plant sales. First up, you're going to want to fill these pots to the top with a quality organic potting mixture. Level them off so they're equally full. And then compress that soil down about 25% to eliminate any air gaps. Then top those pots off again with that same potting mix. After you've leveled the pots off once again, we're almost ready to plant. We do have to soak the soil with about two liters of warm water for around two hours. Now we're ready to pot. Taking a large screwdriver, Make decent sized holes in the center of the pot as deep as possible. If you remember part one of the tomato seeding video, you'll recall that we seeded in two different ways. One was single seeded and the other was multi or bunch seeded. Let's first pot a couple of the single seeded plugs up to demonstrate how we do it. Pry out your plug with a flathead screwdriver, being careful not to actually pull on that tomato stem. They pop out really easily this way. Place that whole plug in the hole that you made, planting it as deep as possible. These guys go fast and you can pot an entire tray in less than seven to 10 minutes. Next up, we have the multi or bunch seeded plugs. These are where five or more seeds are packed into a single cell, allowing us to germinate and create thousands of seedlings in a small space. Just like before, use your flathead screwdriver to lever out the plug, being careful not to yank on those stems. Now, most plugs will be populated with multiple sizes and stages of growth, so you're going to want to pull out and get rid of the small spindly ones. Think about it. Seeds are cheap, and we want uniform growth and even crops. So don't stress about this part. Here's where it gets tricky, and experience and technique tend to take over. Gently pull apart each stem, trying to keep as much of the root system of each plant intact. Only trial and error will give you the confidence on how hard you can actually pull on these guys. So honestly, don't worry if your first go around has some sacrifices. Again, Place these guys in the holes that you made, pushing them down, and planting them as deep as you possibly can. 
Rework those holes if you have to. The stems can be quite fragile, so it's much easier to widen a hole than it is to try and jam these guys straight down. On each seedling, you'll notice two small leaves at the bottom of the stem. These are actually not leaves at all, but vestiges known as cotyledons. I simply pull them off if they get in my way. So, all in all, the bunch seeding does add an extra step to this process, but still, it goes quite quick with a whole tray taking around 12 minutes or less. As we've mentioned before several times, you need to plant your tomato seedlings deep. While this goes against traditional planting of young plants, therein lies the singular reason that tomatoes transplant so well. And that's because of adventitious roots. These are roots that can pop out of anywhere along the stem, well above the root collar, allowing the tomato plant to double its root system in a matter of days. It is because of these adventitious roots that tomato plants are the most popular starters around the world. Step two of growing your own tomatoes is manageable and somewhat fun only because tomatoes are such great transplanters. These guys grow fast. And because we're growing them indoors, they tend to be a bit floppy. Worse, they're covered in little hairs that act like Velcro and cause the stems and the leaves to stick to each other like crazy glue. But because they are so tough and durable, they bounce back from virtually everything we do to them. So step two isn't nearly as delicate and frustrating as it could be. The last part of the tomato growing series is going to be taking these four inch starter plants, moving them into their final homes into the garden and setting them up for maximum harvest. It'll be a really good video because all the people that simply go and buy their starters in the spring will be able to join in and get value from it. So hey, move those tomato seedlings on now, make sure to plant them deep and get ready because spring's coming. Hey, thanks for watching guys. If you're getting value in this and the other series that I'm doing on YouTube, hit those like, share, and subscribe buttons if you'd be so kind, and I'll see you in the next video.